So let's let's get into it. It's it's time to reopen the conversation about the Mariners. Um, Jerry Depoto has been busy. He's always busy every off season. Uh, since getting the job as the Mar- Mariners general manager in September of 2015, uh, Depoto has made 35 trades. Uh, that's the most out of any franchise uh, in baseball. Uh, so we thought this week we would just kind of run through these these new players and, and, and get to know who they are and what they've done in the past and and uh, so let's get it started. Lacey, can you can you tell me who's new in the Mariner infield? The M's picked up Gene Segura from the Diamondbacks. Attaway Gene, excited <laughs> to have you. <laughs> <laughs> he is a shortstop. He's going to be 27 this season. 27 years old. That is. He had a breakout year offensively in 2016. He batted 319, leading the National League in hits with 203. He hit 41 doubles, 20 home runs, and had a base percentage of, sorry, an on base percentage of 368. So I think between Cano, Seeger, and now Segura, the Mariners have a good chance um, of having one of the best hitting infields in baseball. I, w- I would agree with that, but there's also another spot on the infield that, that we'll see some new faces at. Uh, DJ, who's going to be playing first base for the M's this season? Well, first off, you know, I'm filled with optimism, as I am for every Mariners season, I feel yes. like. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in the past years, the Mariners really haven't had, I've, I feel like, good first basemen, and I feel like this could be the best squad they've had in the past maybe three years between Logan Morrison, yes. um, Adam Lind, and Deho uh, Lee last year. Mm-hmm. But this year, uh, the job will be split between Dan Vogelbach, and he is a beast. He's huge. I've He's seen it. I saw He's him play. Monster. So he played for the Cubs last year, their minor league team, and I went mm-hmm. to a Rainiers game and saw them him play, and he just hit a bomb yeah. over, like, right center. And, yeah. it, he, like, he is definitely one of the biggest guys out there at six foot, 255 pounds. Um, the only problem I have with him, though, is he's only played in the minor leagues, mm-hmm. uh, where he's hit 286, 118 doubles, and 83 home runs, and that's a total of six seasons in the minors. Um, so it is yet to be seen if he can do it and produce at the professional level. But a different guy I'm excited about is Danny Valencia. He's played for the o- Oakland Athletics the past couple of years, um, and he's kind of like, you guys remember Willie Bloomquist? Yes. He, can, he kind of plays all over, mm-hmm. and that's how, how Valencia plays. He can play first, left, um, third, and right field. Uh, career-wise, he's a 271 hitter with a 317 on-base percentage, um, and he's right-handed, so he'll pl- uh, probably play against the lefties, and Vogelbach will play against righty pitchers. Yeah, it should be. I think you nailed it on the head there with Vogelbach. I, I'm, I'm sure the first part of the season, Vogelbach will be a, a really good hitter because the league yes. doesn't know how to pitch to him. Yep. And then by about the midway point, safe yep. money says he's going to fall off and mm-hmm. the league will figure it out. Uh, much like we saw with Deho Lee last year. He was good for the first part of the season, then all of a sudden everyone figured out how to pitch yep. to him, and, and problems came from there. So, so it'll be interesting to see how the Mariners infield will produce offensively. Uh, 